Arsenal Fan TV here with Chris. What did you make of the game, mate? Hang on a minute. Robbie, you've changed. Yeah, well, well you've uh... got some hair and, yeah, you look different today. No, I'm, I'm not, not quite on Robbie's level yet. When you start talking to me, you'll realise he's a bit better than me. But carry well, on. What yeah, do you make of the game? If, 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 if Robbie's watching, just say, like, congratulations on the award he's won this week. So yeah. hopefully it won't be the only trophy win this season. But, yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Well, well, the Arsenal Fan TV trophy cabinet's full. Hopefully the Arsenal one will follow. Exactly. But anyway, let's talk about the game. Yeah, what did you make game. of the game? Um, it was always hard after an international break. Um, hard to get the rhythm back. Um, but Southampton are a decent side. I mean, not many teams are going to beat them this season. Yeah. They've got the second best defence in Europe. And um, another stat is that in the last 21 Premiership games, so over half, of a, over half a season, they've only conceded more than one goal once. So that says a lot. Not many teams are going to beat them and so I think this is a good win even though it wasn't as a full flowing best it's yeah. a good three points Fair enough taking that stat they've only conceded one goal uh, they've only conceded one goal more than once in the last 21 yeah. the nature of the first goal today and the fact that they gave away a stoppy penalty quite strange and may, maybe Southampton will feel a little bit hard done by but on the balance of things do you think we deserved it what do you think on the balance I don't think they can say they felt hard done by because come on, we hit the post twice before we scored but admittedly it was a gift from Borac I think today was actually a tale of two keepers because Borac yeah. is obviously gave us that goal and Chesney he was outstanding today I know I'm not going to say he was man of the match because that portrays that we were under pressure when we yeah. weren't but I think he's uh, not many people are saying it this season but he's matured a lot he's getting a lot better and he was you know he made some good saves and he was dealing with um, Ward Prowse's crosses really well you know he's, he's a good keeper now all right and uh, who was your man of the match then today who really impressed you out there Arthur Boric I think he was the, the key <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he got he got an assist, so yeah. fair play to him. Yeah. But uh, how about in Arsenal colours? Who's uh, your man of match there? Oh, he's say Giroud. It's nice to see him scoring again. He's gone through a bit of a lull recently, and um, I think the France result in midweek was actually one of our most important results this season because. I know it seems a bit far-fetched, but all of the French boys' heads would have been down. They've had nothing to play for for the rest of the season. Now they've got, they're on a high. They've got the World Cup to look forward to. Yeah. And you remember Arshavin a couple of years ago, yeah. um, when Russia didn't qualify, he completely went off for the rest of the season. So, All right, and last question, and can we win the league? What do you reckon? Robbie always says that as well. Yeah, of course we can. We're four points clear. So um, I think we'll beat Cardiff next week, but, you know, fingers crossed.